Today I'm going to explain the use of sealing wax. Um, we have different kind of sealing wax. The semi-flexible, right here with the wick. Um, you need also a seal. This one can have a changeable head. And option, a pad, an ink pad. So we are going to show you the use of the wax with the wick. So first you light up the wick and breaking over the paper we're gonna drip it. Since we have a square seal we can drip it using a square shape dripping over the envelope and try to make a square. Also bear in mind that if you don't rotate the stick you're gonna have slope. You're gonna create a slope, and um, it's not gonna drip fast enough. So I would suggest that slowly you rotate the stick. When you reach approximately the size of your coin, you can stop. And a little trick that I like is to prevent the wick to smoke forever is to bury the, the stick in the melted wax right there like that and you can steer a little bit it doesn't really give you any trouble to do that you know it doesn't have to be even either that's the beauty of the sealing wax um, i always wait about six seven eight seconds depending on much wax you place on the envelope um, we're gonna wait about eight seconds today because the wax is so hard it could actually stick to the seal. So you can place it directly like that or you can add a little gold, silver, copper, any color you want. This is gonna give you a two-tone accent. You have to wait about, I would say, 10 to 15 seconds uh, before the wax gets cold and hot. Uh, another trick, you can touch the side and see if it's tacky. If it's tacky, just wait longer. I'll touch it here. If it doesn't stick to my finger, it's getting there, it's getting cold, but I see it's a little pliable still. And I slowly try to take it off. There we go. And you get your seal. And everything is available on our website, papipun.com. Thank you very much.